She wanna dance, but I'm getting sturdy. Cut Ooh. double A, but I'm leaving early. Put you in the game, now she in the jersey. <laughs> jersey, yeah. And my new bitch Polynesian talking about taking the boy to Waikiki. Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Zay Cartier. We in the building right now in the studio, presented by Mix One Essentials. We got special guests, special superstar in the building. Yes, sir, man. Brandon Gomes, BG. Dig, man. Appreciate you for having me here today, bro. Uh, yeah, bro. I appreciate you pulling up, bro. Of course, man. It's family, you know what I mean? Anytime. Yo, yo, we linked up, what? When was it? Like, Shit, yeah, almost yeah. a year. Almost a year now. About to be like, it was like January. Yeah. Probably like half a year. Beginning of the year. We was in there running the sessions till like 7 a.m. Shh. What? <laughs> Off that siesta G. Off that siesta G, <laughs> bro. I remember <laughs> you. <laughs> we was turning the studio late night, man. But Facts. um, for the people that don't know, man, where you from? Shit, man. I'm from Sarasota, Florida. Born and raised in Sarasota, Florida. Florida boy, Southwest Florida, man. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's exactly where I'm from, man. How was it over there, bro? You know, man. I got a lot of people from up north watching okay. this stuff. Yeah, so in New York, right? People, yeah, yeah, yeah. I PA, did. Jersey, everywhere. So, you know, yep. they, you know, where you from, man? Like, Shit, how man. was it? I loved it, bro. You know what I'm saying? I grew up in Sarasota, Florida. It's like a beach town. You know mm. what I'm saying? It's like a, it's like a, you know, chill town. You know what I mean? Not much going on in the industry that I was doing. You know yeah. what I mean? Music, modeling, acting, you know, not a lot there, but still a lot of good people there. You know what I mean? And I, I, I just grew up there, man. I, 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 I adopted so much tone of the city, so much, you know, feeling, and, and I, I take it with me everywhere I go, no matter where I go. Like, you uh, from yeah. New York, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Like, I lived in Flatbush, Brooklyn for a year, Washington Heights. Okay, you know what's but, going on. Yeah, I was yeah, out there yeah. modeling, acting, you know what I mean? So running around New York. Way okay. different, though. Okay, okay. So you was talking about, you know, the modeling and the acting and stuff. Like, yeah. Um, how you got into that, bro? Bro, I just, like, when I was, like, 16, 17, I just want, I, I told myself I wanted to do this. I wanted to be in movies. Mm. Movies changed my life forever. Like, movies and music, those are two things that changed my life forever. Watching watching movies, uh, how I would feel watching, I was like, I want to do that. I want to try that. So, um, like, in high school, I just started modeling. That was the closest outlet I had, you know? Started modeling. Modeling brought me to New York. New York was hard as hell, but, you know what I mean? I came back yeah, to Sarasota. A million Sarasota. people doing the same thing. A million people doing the same thing. Rent going for the high high. Oh, I'm rent, ready, no. Rent going for the za. That's why I came mean? to Florida. Exactly, <laughs> yeah, but. That's why I came out here. You know what I mean? So, yeah, exactly, man. So, uh, so with, like, you know, when did it become, like, serious, bro? Like, like, when did it really hit you, like, damn, I'm acting. Like, I'm really doing this shit. Shit, bro, I'm not going to lie. Like, honestly, wh like, as soon as I moved to New York, because mm. my whole life I grew up in Sarasota, Florida, and then when I moved to New York, I was like... It was, was different. Like, it was like, oh, I was, shit. I was like, damn, I'm out here. Like, all my other friends, all, a lot of other people I know was in college, you know what I'm saying, or working with their parents or doing something like that. I was out there in New York, you know what I mean, like, struggling, you know mm. what I mean? But, but I was grinding. Like, but grinding, exactly. Yeah. But I was like, this is what I want to do, so, um, you know, I'm at it. Going to auditions every day, having to go to work, come back home, you know what I mean? Make music, all that. So mm -hmm. I was like, I want to take this serious. I, I, I risked it all for this. So this, you know what I mean? That's why I'm, that's why I'm taking this serious. Hell yeah. yeah. So what was like your first big like gig, bro? Um, Probably like 2015, I did a, um, I did a campaign for, uh, and it was like a runway. Like, you know, I did a Fashion Week in New York. Mm -hmm. I did a runway for Steve Madden. Wow. And I remember I was like, okay. I was like, hey, show me. Yeah, I was like, okay, this. I was like, this is actually dope, you know. But I, actually, when I was in when I was in high school, I did a um, my first my first casting I ever went to, first thing I ever did trying to do this. I I went to a um, Adidas commercial, mm. and it was like an audition. It was like something where it was like me and like my in story little brother. Like I, we was motivating each other, so I went to that and booked it. I remember I booked it the first the first gig I ever tried to do first audition booked it mm. and I was like damn you know I, I that, that gave me some that was encouraging because I was like I could do this you know yeah yeah okay so last last acting question like you know you know I gotta ask like how did you how did you get involved with MTV you know being on Siesta you know yeah. Keys and stuff and yeah. you know because like I'm gonna be real like bro when we first met I didn't even I didn't know who you were bro and <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know nothing. My girlfriend was like, my mom, like, we we be watching that shit. Like, yeah. and I'm like, oh shit, like that's fire. What the right. fuck? Like, that's dope. Like, but Shout I'm glad we I'm glad we met like that too. Cause For it was real. like it was real genuine too. Like yeah. it wasn't like, oh, this dude's on MTV, da da da. Like, let me try to lock in with him or yeah. da da da. Like it was real genuine when we linked up and that was fire, bro. No, that's so fire. how did how did that happen, bro? Like 
Um, basically, when I moved back from New York, back to Sarasota, you know mm. what I mean? New York, was I was there for three years, bouncing around week to week, month to month, trying to find different places. I was like, man, I, you know what I mean? This, this is ridiculous. So I moved back to Sarasota. A homie of mine, um, his name is Alex, he thought he was running this pilot. He did, like, a pilot, like, put together, like, you know what I'm saying, like a pilot, pretty much like a pitch deck to send to networks like MTV, like BET, you know, VH1, stuff like that. And um, and he was like, yo, I'm doing this. I didn't even take it serious at the time. I was like, yeah, okay, you're doing an MTV show. I see mm -hmm. the okay, yeah, all right, I'll see you about it. Yeah. But I still showed up because, you know, I want to see what, I just want to, you know, if, it's, if it was legit, then it was legit, and it was. But I just pulled up. I remember take chances. It. Exactly. I already done risked it moving to New York. I was like, why not? You know, that's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Showed up to this dinner, this random dinner, and saw all these people I went to high school with, like Juliet, like Chloe, like, you know what I'm saying, Amanda Miller, all them. That's just names from Siesta Key. Mm -hmm. and I remember seeing all them being like, damn, what the hell? Like, What's going on? I was like, for real? This for real? <laughs> like, right, this ain't, right. no, like, ain't no paid actors or nothing like yeah. that. It was all people I went to high school with. But I was out the loop because I moved to New York. Came back, seen all them. I was like, oh, shit, okay. And then, man, shortly after that, bro, like, um, they was just sending – 100 person production crews down in my hometown mm. shooting with me at my house and all throughout the city like and uh and just took off from there man oh wow that's five bro. years now it's been yes the key's been on the air five years since how many seasons y'all got it's season five wow season five yeah so like for the people that don't know what 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 is cs uh keys bro like what is it yeah it's it's like a um Man, I've, I've always said it's like an American soap opera. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. like a little novella, you know Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. okay. But, but you know what I mean? Like, uh, it's, it's, it's the key, so it's like a little romance, little romance reality, you know what I mean? It's pretty much what it is. So um, uh, that's it's that, it's, and it's based on seven people's lives. Okay. Seven, seven. That, that grew up in Siesta Key. Seven people's lives that grew up in Siesta Key, yeah, exactly. And, um. Whoever came up with that, he's pretty smart for that. Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Warren Skills, bro. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm pretty sure Warren Skills, shout he's out. pretty smart for that. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure they are, they, you know what I mean? Compo, shout out all them. They they kind of they kind of put that together, and they changed my life. So, you know, shout out you know, the Compos, mm. Warren Skills, mm. Ocas, Viacom, MTV, you know? Shout oh, out. Yeah, shout out all of them. Um, so yeah. let's move to the next talent, bro, you, you've got going on, bro. Let's yeah. let's talk about Siesta G, bro. Man. What what well, what's Siesta G, man? What, what we got over here? Man, Siesta G is premium cannabis line. Um, mm. I, I've always, you know, first night that we met, we probably put several in the air. Oh, we put several in there. Yeah. I, was, I don't know how many several, though. <laughs> yeah, you know, so, I mean, I've always been, I've always had a passion for cannabis. I've always had a passion for, you know, growing it, uh, you know, getting the best flower in the, in, in, the, in, the, in the world. You know what I mean? Like, and, and just trying to figure out how to get in the industry. They tell you it's impossible, you know, especially out in Florida, you know, because they say all the, they know the licenses and whatnot. But you just got to do your homework and... Um, and do it and, correct. And do it correct, exactly. So everything we sell is is premium cannabis, you know. Um, and on 2018, there was, a, there was a bill that passed, the Farm Bill, which allowed people to explore hemp. You know what I mean? Now, I, I've been learning so much about this now. You know, I feel like a nerd now, but yeah. uh, I thought I knew a lot before I got into it, but I know mm -hmm. a lot now. So, Siesta G, man, we just opened up a dispensary in Brandon, Florida. So, man, come check us out. Follow us on Instagram at Siesta G. Oh, I actually yeah. got some products in here, man, I wanted to give you. Oh, hell yeah, yeah bro. Man. Let's so, see what you got. Hold I up. Actually, I got them for everybody in the studio, too. Like, yeah. it, it, you know what I mean? Let's see Shit. what you got. I got a pre roll for you. Oh. Got a pre roll for you, man. You know what I mean? I lemon just put, merengue. Yeah, yeah. I just, you know what I mean? He said yeah. lemon merengue. That's what, it's, that's what it looked like, <laughs> merengue. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got, some, I got some gummies for you, some passion fruit gummies. Okay. Shit, yeah. should I start just passing it out in the studio? Oh, yeah. Shit, y'all yeah, 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 want something too, man? Catch on, yeah. Oh, oh damn, I hit the camera. He threw it damn, to the people. I threw it straight he to, threw the it people. to the people. <laughs> <laughs> shit, my bad, bro. Here, look. Here, look. I'm throwing it again one more time, one more time. Hey, Noob, catch that one. Ready? Catch that one, man. Ah. Yes, yeah, sir. Call that joint. Pre-roll. Yeah. Pre-roll. We want pre-roll back there? He got the flavors in here, though. Hold on. That was what? Pre-roll over apple, there? Apple, orange. Pre-roll over there? We got there. the passion <sighs> fruit. Yes, sir. That's fire. Say your name on here, too, bro. That's Exactly, badass, man. Another pre-roll? Hey, look. And everything, everything legit, man. Y'all see everything legit. Non-GMO. Telling you all the facts on here. Everything. You know, everything's legit. Yeah, and I'll just put some stickers over there, man. Oh, go. yeah, I'm putting this on my laptop for yeah, sure. Go yeah, you know tell that. You know I'm going to be in the studio with 
With the CSG on yeah, the laptop. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So that's Come pretty on, much man. what we did, man. So bro, I appreciate you, bro. That's guys, bro. Of course, bro. man. Of course, After this, we definitely going we to smoke one of these. Yeah, up. put them in the air, man. Put yeah. them all in the air. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, how you... How you uh, I'll grab we'll that agree, one. Yeah, we'll get yeah, it. I'll grab that one. <laughs> but um, how you feel about, you know, um, you know, having your own dispensary, bro? Like, that's that's big, bro, to, like, be able to do that, bro. Yeah. Like, and have it in your business name and... I'm, how does that feel, bro? Yeah, I mean, it feels good, bro. I felt at one point that, you, you know what I mean? We, I was just going to sit around. Because I've always just been in, you know, black market with it. I've always been, you know, I've been to, i I, I just been selling in the street, you know, under the table, black market. You know, I, that's, I, I, since my whole life, you know what I mean? I, I've been smoking weed since I've been 12 years old. So it feels good, man, to operate legally. You know there are limits to it. You know yeah, what I mean. Sure. I'm not. I'm not a medical marijuana treatment center. Yeah. But I do have a dispensary where we sell premium flour. But there's certain limitations that I have to stick to because I don't got 50 million to come of put course. into the license. But yeah. man, definitely come come check us out. I, you'd be surprised how good our flour is. How how everything is, man. You, you know what I mean. I want to. I'm excited you. to taste the flour for yeah. sure. It feels bro. good though. Proud. Yeah, you know I'm not. Mean? I'm not too. I, I do edibles, but like I'm more flour. You know. So I'm I'm excited to see what this flour tastes right. like in the studio. One day, I remember. You oh know. my gosh! <laughs> tell him. Tell him real I quick. I said. I said. Yo, yo, Zay. Yo, these are these are 75 milligrams, bro. Just take one. <laughs> he told me to take one And mind you I've been smoking forever So I'm thinking My tolerance Okay I'm good like, <laughs> I said take one Bro literally ate All eight In a jar All eight in a jar He ate Every single one 600 <laughs> milligrams I'm talking about By the end of the session He looked like he was In the a, in a screen Trying to like Fly through the screen I was <laughs> dead bro Like I was dead I was like Yo I can't do this Edible shit What the fuck He's like bro You took all of them I'm like Bro I thought it was gonna be light. <laughs> no, yeah, that was funny. nah. That's that's the SG real real deal, man. <laughs> no, that was funny, man. I do remember that. <laughs> so, um, last thing I really want to um get into um is your music, bro. Um, yeah, you know, kind of get me into you know what got you. I know you said you've been really into music for a while now. Yeah, but yeah. Like, when when did you take it serious? Like, I mean, bro, I've been. How did you get in the studio? In right. the cell. So, okay, facts. Right. I've been I've been rapping since I was like um. Literally the fifth grade, you know, mm -hmm. we used to do, they, you know how they had a poetry month and stuff like mm -hmm. that? I would just write a rap, little, little rap, perform it to the class. I always like rapping, like, Outkast, people like Nelly, and, and, and you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, Wiz, Khalif, all, I got a lot of people that inspire me, but. Mm -hmm. um, I just seen you was with him, too, that was fire. Yeah, yeah Wiz, yeah. yeah, we got connects with Taylor Gang now, you know what I mean? Blessings, that's, that, shout it, it works him. out. Yeah, shout out Taylor Gang, shout out Wiz, shout out Will, shout out Fed, you know what I mean? All them, but, um, uh. Really, man, I uh, I started getting in the studio, taking it serious when I when I moved to New York. I moved to New York, got in the studio, and then and then came back to Florida, man. I've been on it ever since. You know, I, that's that's my therapy. Music's my therapy. I like making music. I like going to the studio, linking up. You know what I mean? People like you. Yeah, and I could tell up. when we linked up, bro. It was genuine. Yeah. Like you like to do it. It was not like, oh, I'm just doing this for blah blah blah, or I'm doing this for, blah, blah. you know, like I could tell you like to do this, bro. And, exactly, okay. man. Exactly. As soon as you got on that mic, I'm like, okay, he he really likes to do this. For yeah, real. facts, bro. I appreciate you. Same with you, man. You know what I mean? Seeing you cook up, bro. Seeing you, you know, even 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 the songs you do, bro. Man. Be tough. I'd be like, okay, I try. Shit, you know <laughs> what I mean? But um. <laughs> Facts, bro. No, I mean, I, I I I love it, bro. I'm doing. I'm coming out with a new song at, at the end of this month, and I actually DJ as well. Ah, uh, yeah, be, yeah. Being on MTV, you know, I got a big brand. You know what I mean? I'm just being realistic with it. My my music right now ain't the type to take me on tour. Mm. Hey, I mean, I'm hold up. I ain't gonna downplay my. Yeah, shit. No, I was about to say, yeah, don't, do on, that. don't do that. Don't do that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. I mean, where I'm at right now, you know what I'm saying. I'm not gonna get booked for an hour set at Live Big Club. You know what I'm saying? I go. I've I done done all these shows. I done did 15, 30 minutes, 30 minutes. Went on. You know what I mean? Little yeah. tours. But DJing right now, I'm able to go. You know, take a whole night, mm -hmm. four or five hours at yeah, a club. Go anywhere because I got a brand. You know what I mean? Being on CS the Key, being with you know millions of social media followers and this and that. Like I'm able to get in get into these clubs, DJ. And then perform my own music, spin my own music, mm -hmm. spin my homies' music, so I'm able to put that, you know, what I mean, put their stuff out there yeah, too. That's dope. And then, and then, um, at the end of this year, man, we setting up a tour, like international tour, bro. At the end of the year, man. So stay tuned, man. So how did your how did your performances on Siesta Key affect your career? Uh, I mean, like like 
You mean like with my concerts on Siesta Key? Just like in general, being on there, like man, being. I mean, how did it affect your career? Because I know you you was you you already said you was you know bouncing back and forth New York. Da, da, da. You yeah. you've already been doing your thing before yeah, Siesta, yeah. you know. Thanks. But like, how did it really impact you after? Bunch, bro, gave me a platform. Mm. You know what I mean? That's so why you were saying a good way. Yeah, exactly for sure. Being on Siesta Key, I mean, I went from I went from a kid that was you know taking a Greyhound to go to Miami to do a modeling gig for $500. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, you know what I mean? Rapping, you know, working two, three different jobs, just hit the studio all week and do it right. And then yes, the Key came around when I came back from New York. Um, gave me a whole platform, bro. I mean, literally overnight, I'm in front of 89 million viewers, translated in 13 different languages. You know what I mean? People just searching me up because they want to see who I'm, with at the time, see who I'm talking to, want to see like what's yeah. going on in my life. So I was able to push my music. I was able to push, you know, what I mean, Siesta G, everything through there. So I'm just trying to take full so advantage. So give you that door and that yeah. funnel. Yeah. yeah, and Siesta Key, you know, what I mean, they done they done cheese me a couple times. Don't get me wrong, you know, what I mean, they done cheese me a couple times, but I, I, they gave me a platform from the start. So I'm always thankful and blessed. Yeah, With MTV, the whole Shout out team, to them, for real. Yeah, for real. For That's real. dope. So like that one song you did. With um Bad Neighbors, yeah, yeah, Life of the Party. That song yeah. is so gas, bro. The music video was turned. We was we was lit that day, bro. Like, yeah. let's talk about that day, bro. Hey. How turned was you that day, man? Turned, bro. Turned. I had a I had a I had a trade show at uh, seven a.m. the next day, and we stayed up till damn near seven a.m. Like, yeah, we was turned the whole night, man. We was uh Bad Neighbors came through. You know, we had Drew filmed it, shoot the video, yeah. boom, boom, Shout boom. Out that boy. Yeah, so we it, it was fun, man. That was a song that I cooked up a little bit ago too. Like yeah. I cooked that song up like a year ago. Yeah, I remember uh, you showing me the, yeah. the little demo of it. Yeah, and I was like, I want to just you know, this is fun. It was like it's, it it's like party music, you mm-hmm. know. It so. definitely was. We was lit that night. We was definitely partying. Yeah, we, so we was partying for sure. We was partying. That's, we tried to make it like a Project X, you know? Yeah. So we did. Hey, you didn't try. We did. No, we did. We, we did. did. Your we brother was... jumped off the. Yo, his brother jumped off the third floor, bro. So. <laughs> Huge uh, ass house, bro, into the pool, bro. That shit was crazy. Yeah, I thought he was going to die. I ain't even going to lie. That shit was crazy. <laughs> shout out Trey, man, for real. Shout out my brother, yeah. But, um, hey, man, you know I got a beat for you. You know I Hell need yeah. you to spit a little, little some song. Right. Dom, what, you, Dom, what you got, bro? I mean, run it up, man. Headphones of on. Let's get it. Oh, you got a headphones. Yeah. Okay. Huh. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Uh, yeah, yeah. She got a messy bun with a baby hair showing. Out back by the ocean. Take a back blown potent. All these ashes on the floor. Leave them panties at the door. Leave that bullshit back at home. She bad and she know it don't say it. Baby girl, just short. She like girls that like girls. I like girls that like girls. I ain't even got to fight for it. This fast life and right for it. Yeah. She want to dance, but I don't get sturdy. Kept up late, but I'm leaving early. Put you in the game, now she in the jersey. Jersey, yeah. And my new bitch Polynesian talking about taking the boy to Waikiki. We hustle from host to coast. I hustle hoes. I make a list. She got a messy bun with a baby hairs. Ass fast. She ain't playing fast. Since she never been. I can take you there. Spend a month. What you make a year? I got a lot of primes and a lot of money. Niggas fake and these bitches funny. See me out. I'm probably on a son of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Gangsta. Yeah, 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 you don't yeah, have yeah. to get you on that New York shit. Of course, man. The drill <laughs> shit, bro. That's funny, man. Yeah, yeah. He hey, put man. out the beat, right? You, you know, know what I mean? I had to. Yo, we in the studio, man. Presented by Mix One Essentials. Peace. <laughs>